Hello folks and welcome back to Stormworks. So before we get under the way, I thought I would fill you in as to why it's been four months since I posted a video. Now I'm not going to bore you too much with this. I just figured I ought to say something because it's been pretty quiet over here for a while. So the TLDR version is life has been really complicated for me for the last few months. And between that and having computer problems, I was having a hard enough time just keeping regular content on my main channel. And since this is like a side project, this kind of got shoved aside for a little while. Now, since then, I have gotten a new computer. A lot of my technical problems are now gone, it seems. So I'm finally able to spend some time putting some more videos back over here. I, now, also since last time, I've actually bought a few new games that I think would go really well on the channel. So we'll be trying out some of them soon, but I've been missing Stormworks. And uh, since the last time I recorded, they have had a game update, which has added some natural disasters and stuff. And I did pick up the Search and Destroy DLC that adds weapons. I'm not really sure how to implement that with the regular types of videos I make over here yet. But uh, I'm working on it. I'm just still new to it. For now, though, I would like to do what I usually do and check out a ship. This one's floating away. Uh-oh. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> we got calm seas. So this ship is the RMS Poseidon. This is yet another ship from Brown Star Shipyards on the Steam Workshop. Always like their content. And this one is based on one called... Well, I'll put up the information here, uh, as usual. If uh, this one's based on a real ship, I'm pretty sure it is. Anyways, like I said, there has been some new things that have added some new natural disasters and stuff. One of them I'm unsure about, but we'll find out once we get out to sea. And the other one should be able to uh, come into play in this video. The other few are not really at sea disasters, I don't think. But as usual, we're going to have a look at this ship first. We're going to take a little tour of it, see what's on board. Then we'll head out to sea and put it through the paces with weather. I'm going to go ahead and start down in the engine room, get this thing fired up if I can. Okay, here we are. Let's light these boilers. I had to start new games so and my character needs some clothes <laughs> as well. <laughs> Bilge pump on. Boilers are lit. It's going to wait for the pressure. They're firing up. You turn on some lights as well, probably do that from the top deck. Or maybe not. There they are. Okay, we got our telegraph back here. Bilge pumps, I guess. We have the aft cargo hold. Turn these all on, I guess. There we go, some lights. Not gonna put any cargo in it. We're just gonna bring it out to sea and see how it does with the increasingly bad weather and all that. Sail it around, have some fun. And here we have the forward cargo hold, it seems. Any lights in here? Automatic door, too. I believe I read this was based on a ship from 1870, so that's interesting. And we got the, I'm gonna guess, the anchors up here. Can't really see. Alright, let's go back up top. Okay, there we got some gear. Let's actually equip some stuff. Oh, inventory full. I already had a flashlight. Whoops. Just checking the wheelhouse to turn on some lights. There we go. Don't need the exterior lights yet. So now that we have some lights starting from above the boiler here, going back, we've got some crew bunks in here. Back here as well. Got some crew seating areas, I would guess. Same in the back. And around the other side. This can hold quite a lot of crew. I don't know what it is with Stormworks, uh... The game randomly just alt tabs, and I don't know why. Since uh, I've reinstalled it on a new computer, I don't know what's going on. Okay, it looks like we got a crew galley or something up here. F bed. Oh. Automatic lights, cool. We got some crew cabins over here. I'm gonna guess it's the same kind of everywhere. I like the automatic lights, that's really nice. Much all the same. Whoop, how'd I get turned around? Okay, going forward. More of the same. This thing could hold quite a few people and crew. On some heaters, I guess. Since I have no clothes. 
Hopefully they got some clothes stashed in here somewhere. More seating up front, alright. Crew access only. Four cargo hold access right there. Huh. Okay, I guess that's it for the bottom two decks. Smoking room, my favorite. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alright, let's go back up. I could uh, make a little trip back over to the hangar to grab some clothes from some other workshop creation, I suppose. Let's finish with the tour first, though. Got our cargo hold door right here. First officer's cabin. Oh, here we go. Thermal clothing, there we go. That'll be good. Some lights. He's got some stuff in here. Nice little room. Saloon. Let me check around the other side. No, oh, just straight into the saloon. Alright. Even got a piano. Can I play? <laughs> nice touch. I'm going to turn that off just uh, in case, but hey. Hey, going forward from the saloon, cabin A6. All right. Just some cabins. Kind of the same as the first officer's cabins. And I guess these are all kind of the same. I'm going to turn on lights, though. Same deal on the other side. Identical rooms. Lots of, lots of crew area and passenger area on this one. I know I already said that, but... I don't usually see this many. Oh, here we have the galley. Some lights. Service hatch into the saloon. All right. Guess we don't need to turn that on, do we? Going forward, first class deck house. This leads down to first class. And we got our forward cargo hold thing. The f the what? Oh, this is a uh, equipment storage. Lots of it in here. Wow. I'm trying to remember how to drop items. I don't actually remember. Drop equipment's backspace. I thought that. Don't need that second flashlight. I'll pick up a uh, fire extinguisher just in case. Got pretty much everything you could want up here. Defibrillator. Okay. Crew mess. Winch room. No, we don't want to turn on the anchors. Okay, well, let's go up to the wheelhouse, and I guess we'll start heading out to sea. I do like the fact that this time the ship is pretty quiet while it's running. Hopefully that stays the same. Keep those exterior lights off for now. Right. Pretty self-explanatory with the trolls. Give you a better look at her here. Kind of. Got some sails, but, I mean, we don't need those. So, I know there is some ships with sails that actually work in this game. Here you go with a name. RMS Poseidon. Let's telegraph up. All the way. It's starting to sound like a lawnmower, but that just kind of happens with these ships sometimes. So, I noticed in my new world... The uh, Brinkfield Nuclear Power Plant is right over there, and I don't think I have that mod active, so I'm wondering if they actually added that to the game, like legitimately or something. I think you can even you can even see it on the map. Uh, where is it? There it is. Brinkfield. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, I forgot to go uh, up top. I see above the wheelhouse, forward above the wheelhouse, there's another place to drive. Okay, well, yeah, the, the the view out of this is not that great. I want to be heading north. Actually, let's go south for a change. We're already out kind of in the open ocean. If I if I turn and start heading south, we should be good. We'll go southwestish first. Maybe start doing a loop, but you know how it goes. We're going to end up in some weather, and uh, things are going to get complicated pretty fast. She doesn't turn, uh, very, very sharp, which is actually kind of nice, because it wouldn't, would it? So, if we end up in some really, really high seas, it's going to become interesting. 
trying to get this thing maneuvered correctly. Anyways, I'm gonna just travel for a while and obviously it's really calm out right now. As the day goes on, the weather will get worse and worse for us. See how she does. Oh, also there's a heater up here that I'll turn on as well as this light. Just noticed just a random box floating in the water. Kind of interesting, there's the power plant. I did make a video on the... At the time it was the mod. Maybe the mod is active for me. And I just didn't realize it. But uh, yeah, the Brinkfield nuclear power plant was interesting. Uh, the old lifeboats. Uh, I don't think I'm going to probably even try with these. I have a really bad time trying to do lifeboats uh, alone. Imagine maybe if you had other people with you, it would be different, but... They never want to work for me. I think I've successfully used them like once or twice. Okay, so I forgot to look at the captain's cabin. I just decided to come in here because if you want to sync this thing or enable the dynamic syncing, I, it, it seems to be off by default. If you wanted to sync it immediately, you come in here and you put one on this uh, little keypad under the captain's, uh, in the captain's cabin here. Or if you want to turn on the dynamic syncing, you put in two. So we'll try dynamic at some point because I'm pretty sure we'll see if it syncs on its own in some bad weather first. But just thought I'd mention that if in case you use the ship and you're wondering. Didn't read the uh, workshop page. Got a little more weather coming in. I just uh, I had to alter my course a little bit to turn into the waves just in preparation for what's going to inevitably happen. Not much weather right now, but, uh, yep, we'll see how it goes. Oh, why don't I go up there real quick, just to have a look. Kind of neat that they put a, uh, they have one of these out here. I'm not sure what you would call it, just a, another a flying bridge, pardon me. <laughs> it was right there, I just couldn't think of it. Nice. Guess if you want to be out in the terrible weather. It kind of restricts the view from the actual wheelhouse, though. But, okay. So I guess we're heading east for the moment. Unless the waves decide to change their direction. This thing, it took forever to turn this thing. It's going to be interesting to see once we get out. Right, a little bit later in the day, and uh, we're now heading south. <laughs> Uh, like intended, the, the wind has changed, the waves have changed, we're picking up a little bit here. Not sure if it's going to be too much of a problem for this ship, but, uh, getting into it now a little bit. Still, uh, just early afternoon, so as the day goes, it'll, we'll pick it up. The enemy captured an island. Oh, is this something new from Seek and Destroy or whatever DLC? I'm going to have to get more into that. I mainly got it because a viewer suggested that I get it and uh, use a mine to test out against some of these ships. I haven't actually figured out how to do that yet. I did see a few mines in the workshop, but I have no idea how to deploy them or mark them. Or I'm just going to have to continue trying to learn that before we do any of that. Well, that would be something else if, uh, some hostiles came at us. Need to turn a little bit more. Just a little bit. Alright, we'll keep steaming on and see how it goes. Okay, I think it's about time to turn the exterior lights on because we're getting into the weather. And it's starting to get dark on us, so oh boy. Starting to bob a lot break through these waves a lot. Picking up all right. Wow, it's taking a lot of water over the front. I did Oh, I left a I left a door open out there. Hold on. Uh that might be something I do willingly later, but right now I don't think it's a good idea. Nope, nope, nope. Close that. Nope. Oh. Okay. Hopefully I didn't leave. Did I leave any other doors open? 
I mean, I know the point is to, oh, kind of sink this thing, but maybe not yet. Did I left the doors open. Okay. Back up top. I have a feeling it's going to happen real fast once we start uh, getting into, because we're, the weather's only about halfway intense right now. It's going to be kind of nuts once we get into worse weather. Now, there's a few other things I'm going to do with this ship other than just try and sink it in the bad weather. Man, it's really... I have a feeling this is going to go under fast. Um, but for now, we're just going to see how this goes. Just going to keep on steaming. As always, it's way more dramatic looking from the wheelhouse. Getting super dark and stormy now, and this is not good at all. We're at about two-thirds of the potential here, and it's starting to starting to worry me. Oh my. This thing was not meant for this weather at all. I see water pouring out. I wonder if I'm going to even have to enable dynamic sinking. I'm pretty sure we're going to be going under fairly soon. I'm try I need to turn again. Oh, this is bad. I'm tempted to go down below and see if there's any water inside, but I'm starting to get turned by the waves here. I'm trying to turn back into them. But this little girl doesn't like to turn very well. Well, we're getting airborne. Oh, it's so much. Part that makes me nervous is after I jump a wave and the entire front third of the, the ship goes under. Oh my goodness. It's turning me. I'm trying to turn back, but these are turning me. Feels like it actually handles a little better right now. Well, oh my goodness. Oh man, this is not good. I can see water pouring out of somewhere back there. I don't know if there's access to below in there. I think there probably is. I do want to go out and check, but I know I'm just going to get knocked off the ship in weather like this. Okay, this is uh, getting scary. It's the middle of the night, and the waves are as high as they're going to go. And I can't see anything, and I keep going underwater, and I don't know if I'm coming back up. Oh, look at this wave. Look at this wave. And catching a bunch of air. Man, the whole thing's going under. I can't believe it hasn't swamped yet. Maybe it won't unless I actually enable the sinking. But I don't know. I mean, it's taken it fairly well so far, but it sure doesn't like this. I'm pretty sure... Oh man, look at this. That's wild. Well... <laughs> just gonna keep going until uh, we get back to daylight. If we make it there. Oh yeah, one other thing I forgot to mention. And I don't think we're going to find it right now. But there's a Kraken in the game. That supposedly only comes out in the middle of the night in horrible weather. Oh, man. Um, in the deep ocean, which is what's going on. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll see it. Okay, it's now early in the morning and the waves are still insane. Didn't see a Kraken. This weather is crazy. This is, oh my goodness. This has definitely changed somewhat. Or gotten more intense since the last time I played. Either that or I'm just really out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, this is ridiculous. This thing should have been under by now. I mean, there's just water coming out of everything. I think I'm going to have to go enable sinking if we want to see that. Look at that air. And it just completely goes under. 
All right. I'm going to keep steaming for a little bit. Uh, once uh, we get a little later in the day, we'll see what happens. It's later in the day, but uh, I think this is the part where it goes under. So I enabled dynamic syncing since I kept going and this thing just, it was fine. Uh, so I'm pretty sure it's not going to sync naturally unless you have the dynamic syncing turned on. The hopping out of the waves thing is terrifying. Any minute now, we're just going to go down and not come up, I'm pretty sure. I'm still trying to turn, it's still shoving me here. With these kind of waves, I kind of can't go below deck because I'm going to get swept off the deck. So we're just going to have to kind of know. I mean, I, I, I feel like I'm listing already. Still, still trying to turn right. Or turn starboard, rather. I feel like she's starting to get kind of low in the water. Kind of hard to tell with this much weather, but... What was that? I feel like it's starting to... starting to go. It's hard to explain when you're not playing the game, but, uh... It starts handling differently. It's taking over so much water over the top. Okay, so it's a little later in the day now, and the waves have actually calmed back down, but pretty sure the damage is already done. It looks like it's sitting low in the water. Still steaming ahead. I'm going to take this time to go down below and see what's going on. All the waves are not too bad. The problem is you can never really tell how much water is inside. I would guess there's some. Some ships, oh, there's water up front. In fact, it's taking on quite a lot. All right, well, that door should close, yep. Not sure if that's going to matter now. So none in the, it doesn't look like there's any in the aft cargo hold, but all right, let's get back up out of here before we go down inside of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's going nose down. I think we better... I think we better stop. Or at least severely slow down. Guess we can try messing with the life... or the lifeboats. I don't know, I should have messed with these first. Um... I think it's about time we just wait this one out. These aren't good. This, this thing isn't going anywhere. I don't know how to release these. This is the part where we just watch. She's going down. And maybe the lifeboats will... I should have messed with them first. I didn't actually plan on using them. But she's going in. Any minute now, it's going to accelerate. More and more, she's gonna go. She's gonna flip up. Oh my goodness, it broke in half. Wow. Uh. Okay. I've never seen one do that. I guess that's what they meant by destructible. Okay. Uh. Guess we better get to the, to the back. This is scary. Let's keep an eye on her in photo mode. That's wild. I've never had one do that. Usually destructible means the boiler explodes or something. That's... And she's about gone. The boiler's still... Oh, it was still going. It's out. Oh, it's still trying. And... She's about gone. Get off this thing. Or get sucked under by it. 
Bye, Poseidon. That's gonna be going for days. I don't even see the bow anymore. Should have messed with the lifeboats a little more. I didn't think we'd have the chance to do anything with them. Alright, let's not look down. I'm getting vertigo. There you have it. <laughs> Never had one break before. That was pretty cool. Um, let's go back and, uh... Well, we'll run it back. Okay, she's back. So one thing they added uh, with the natural disasters thing, I think something I've never seen before, is they added a whirlpool. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but we're going to take the Poseidon out into the out a little bit from our starter island here and see how she takes a whirlpool. I don't know if I'll have to turn dynamic sinking on for that or not. Okay, we're not terribly far away, but we are out a little bit. Just going to see what spawning a whirlpool does here. I hear a siren. Oh, it's right here. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm trying to turn. This is not going to work. Uh, there goes my power. Whoa. I'm not going to write myself, am I? Okay, wait a minute. Is it the whirlpool doing this, or... Does this ship sink on its own? Oh my goodness. This thing hasn't even... I'm gonna drown. Okay, I had to... I had to turn off player damage because I was about to drown. I just wanted to witness this. Well, that was it? I mean, don't get me wrong, that was pretty bad. Oh, it's not very deep here, that's the problem. No wonder. It is just trash in my ship, though. I, I, I completely forgot about the fact that it's not deep here. And that's why it's not doing anything. We're going to have to go somewhere deeper and try this again. It's just going to fling me around on the bottom. The ship's not coming back up, though. So maybe it does... ...sink without my, uh... ...dynamic sinking set. She's, she's done, though. Alright. We're going to have to go further out try this again. I cancelled the whirlpool. Just curious... Yeah, so... Is it gonna bob back up? I don't know what it's doing. Yeah, we're done. Okay. You know what? Before I head out there, sorry about the siren. It doesn't want to shut off. Let me just show you this real fast. Uh, I don't know about the eruption. That's not gonna work here. But... I don't know if it's actually gonna do anything here. I imagine if I spawned this somewhere more on the main island, it would be different. There you go. There's not much clouds to hold on. It's pretty cool. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch it going out there. We'll, we'll do more with the tornado some other time. I just wanted to show you it real fast. I imagine it's going to get a little more intense as it goes here. All right, we are pretty far out to sea now, so let's go ahead and try this one more time. Oh, I can't spawn one yet. Oh, there it is. Pretty sure I didn't need to turn into it, but we're going to anyways. This one's going to be a little intense because we're going all the way around. Or because it's deep here, I mean. Oh, man, how would you get out of that? It's about to just dart, dart me straight under the water. Wow. That's terrifying. I'm just going to go to photo mode here so we can get a better look at this. Wow. Wow, they're huge. I mean, it looked huge before, but... Well... 
it just threw us right to the bottom. What do you expect, I guess? What does this look like from my perspective? We're just sunk, aren't we? We're not coming back up, are we? It's not gonna suck us back up? How is my power still on? Well, that was kind of underwhelming because it just threw me straight to the bottom. Suppose maybe if I would have avoided it more, that would have gone better, but... And these things happen naturally, like, uh, after I sank, when I came back to port, the first sinking, there was a whirlpool that was happening. I just wasn't out there. So that's kind of terrifying. But we're, we're done here. Kind of too bad that it happened that fast, but I kind of expected that would happen. So we do know that that ship can sink on its own. I guess that wild weather we had wasn't quite enough. Okay, before I sign off here, because I've been recording for about an hour and a half, I'll just spawn a meteor. Just because, maybe it'll crash the game. There's not gonna be a, a I'm not gonna be able to do a volcanic eruption out here. Because I'm on multiplayer island. We'll do that some other time. I've got some ideas for how to make a video with that. There they are. Oh, they're hitting in the water. Oh, not all of them. Whoa. I didn't think they would hit in the water. Wow. <laughs> Let me go over here and try that again. Last time I tried spawning a meteor, I was on a boat, and one of them hit my boat, and it just completely obliterated my game. Just everything went black, and I had to just force close it. They always seem to happen generally near the player, so... Oh, here they come. Watch them hit the other side of the island this time. Oh. Forest fire. Oh, man. Oh. Whoa. Okay, so they start fires. I see. Okay, so it's could be a way to start a fire if you want to do firefighting and stuff like that, which I still haven't tried. But, uh, we'll have to do that some other time. Okay, anyways, we went a little off track with just messing around with the RMS Poseidon, but, uh, it's just really good to be back in Stormworks, and, uh, now that I have this DLC, I've got to learn some things, and, uh, I have some ideas for some other stuff alongside the standard checking out cool workshop ship stuff and syncing them and all that. And there should be another video soon because, like I said, I bought a few other games for the channel and I'm hoping to record a video for one of them today, so there should be another one pretty soon. But, um, anyways, that'll do it for this one, so I'll see you guys next time. Take care.